this lesson, I'm going to take you around Photoshop and explain some of its key features. So when you first open the program, it should look something like this. This is Photoshop 2017. If yours looks a little different, don't worry because the essentials are kept the same. So on the right hand side, we see our window panels. You may have different panels open, but don't worry because these can all be adjusted. In this course, we're going to be using our layers panel. So if you don't see this, go up to window and then layers. When you do so, your layers panel will appear in the middle of your screen like this. What you can do is hover onto the edge of this panel and then you can move it around. First of all, you could move this panel into a small window here where the icon just appears and then you can open it like so. But I'm going to actually move this to my larger window so it appears here and it's easier to navigate. Also, I'd like this a little larger. So if I hover between the two windows, I see directional arrows and I can simply drag and drop and make these windows larger or smaller. So I'll make mine a little bigger like so. I also want to have the swatches panel open. So again, go up to window and swatches if you don't see this. Also, sometimes it may be automatically onto color but you can just toggle between the two different options. Over on the left hand side, we see our toolbar and this contains all our tools. Each tool is represented by an icon. If you hover over the tools, you can see the name of them appear. When you click on the icon, it's selecting the tool for you. Also notice that there's a small arrow on most of the tools. And if you right click on that, it will bring up different tool options. Also notice that there is a letter beside each of the tools and this is called a shortcut. You simply hit that letter on your keyboard and it will select that tool for you. So shortcuts are really useful for getting around Photoshop a lot quicker. So I recommend getting familiar with some of the tools that you will use most often. When you click on a tool, also notice that at the top it changes. So this is our toolbar options. And we will be talking about some of these options as we go through some of the tools within Photoshop. So in this lesson, I recommend getting yourself familiar with Photoshop and setting up your dashboard so that it looks similar to mine.